Hey guys, Kanchurito here, and welcome to episode 3 of Pizza or Not, where I, Kanchurito, try to see if I can cook myself lunch and dinner while my parents are away on vacation, and hopefully not burn down the house to give myself salmonella. Again, like last time. Okay, so this, for this episode, I decided to make a tuna casserole, which I've never done before. Oh, and you guys are probably wondering why I don't have a shirt on. I honestly could figure out what shirt to wear for this video, so I'm like, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna not wear a shirt. Then I just finished watering the plants outside, and it's really hot outside, and I went out like a werewolf, so yeah. Oh, and if you guys are wondering why I have like a scar on my face, it's because I'm gradually growing out my nails for another YouTube video I'll be filming later this week, and I accidentally scratched myself in my sleep, apparently. I literally finished putting like half a tube of like nail spore on it before this video, hoping it would go away, but apparently didn't. Okay, so on to the tuna casserole. <laughs> After that really long side story. Okay, so I've already preheated. Pre Why can't I talk? I've already preheated the oven for 350 degrees, and I've uh, got two pots of boiling of water, hopefully boiling by now. For Okay, so first, going to take a pan that's safe from the oven. And you can either melt some butter to decoat the whole inside of it, or you can take some cooking spray and spray it in there. That's done. We're supposed to use egg noodles for this recipe, but I couldn't find any egg noodles in the house. I'm just going to use this, like, wheat mixed noodle thing. I don't know how. I'm... Yeah. Okay, we're gonna see how this goes. And I've already had peas thawing in a sink since this morning. You know? So here we go. Trying to figure out if I burn down the house or not. Ooh, this is hot. I feel. I feel like my nipple here is gonna catch on fire. Okay, so the pan isn't that big, so I'm just gonna pour like half of this bag of peas in here. I was gonna make, I was gonna do this video yesterday, <laughs> but I didn't have enough time, so this is the second time I've thawed these peas. So hopefully these are still good. Okay, then you're supposed to make the noodles al dente, which means you're supposed to cook them to where they're not fully cooked, they're still like a little bit hard, because then they'll finish baking in the oven later. Oh, shit balls. Did you guys see that? It exploded everywhere. How long are you supposed to cook these peas for? Are they all supposed to float to the top? Does that mean they're done? I don't know. I don't know. Someone tell me. Sorry, it almost bubbled over and like exploded in my face. Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna assume they're done. <laughs> oh my god. Can never open my own restaurant. It wouldn't even last a day. <laughs> I almost burned myself on the walk yesterday making an omelette, so I'm like using oven mitts for everything today. <laughs> I would use the big ass oven here to put the tuna casserole in, but it's broken and mom just uses it as a storage unit now. She puts like all her junk in there. It's probably she doesn't put her clothes in there. Cook al dente or until desired degree. How long is al dente? How many minutes? Ah! Well, that wasn't any helpful. <laughs> That's going, I'm going to... Do the other ingredients. We have a whisker in the house, but my mom's never used it. <laughs> We've had it for like 20 years. Just. Or maybe even longer, because my parents are totally hoarders. Okay, so you put your skillet on the 
stove, then you're supposed to put in two tablespoons of butter. And I really hope this is two tablespoons. I don't know, we don't have any measuring spoons in our house. Okay, then you're supposed to add two tablespoons of flour into this. I really hope this is flour. My mom it is not labeled. I'm assume it's flour. It looks it looks smells like flour, it looks like flour, it's gotta be flour. Okay, is this supposed to look like mung beans? Oh, this did not this does like not match the videos I've been watching on YouTube all day today. Okay, you put then you're supposed to pour one cup of milk in here. I'm just gonna pour it all. Okay, then you're supposed to drain the noodles and then pour it under hot, uh, cold water, sorry, cold water that keeps it from sticking all together. So I'm gonna do that right now. Hopefully not burn myself. for me guys, pray for me. Here then, for the last ingredient for this mixture, we're supposed to add ch uh, shredded cheese, but we don't have any shredded cheese in the house, or Parmesan cheese, so I'm just gonna put these cheese wedges that my mom eats as a snack, and hopefully she doesn't, she doesn't kill me when she comes back from vacation, because she loves these things. Okay, you're supposed to lower the heat on this, or else I, I guess it curdles and it's not good. I can't believe one cheese wedge in the box so my mouth doesn't kill me. Okay, then you're supposed to whisk this until the cheese melts, and hopefully this cheese melts. Let me add the tuna in. Okay, I'm gonna put the peas in. Okay, then you add in the noodles last. Okay, I think it's evenly mixed enough. Then you put it in the pan. Oh, please all fit in here. No, don't fall out. Shit. Okay, so, so you can either, optionally, you can add breadcrumbs on top of it for an extra, like, crunch. So I'm going to pour that some breadcrumbs on here. Ooh. Yeah. Woo. I don't know how many breadcrumbs are supposed to pour in here, but I'm just gonna cup layer the whole top of this. Okay, then you're gonna put this in the oven for 30 minutes. Or until it's done, and I don't know how you tell when it's done. So I'm just going to do 30 minutes. <laughs> hey guys, Ken Chinto here, and welcome back. It's 30 minutes, it's just passed. And I ended up actually lowering the heat on the toaster oven because I've noticed the breadcrumbs on the top were starting to burn. It still smells really good though, and like the whole house has this really nice aroma to it. Or maybe I'm just trying to fool myself into thinking it turned out okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna grab it out of the oven right now and show you guys the finished products. Hopefully it looks good. Ta-da! Okay, looks... Edible. <laughs> oh. Totally blew all the bed crumbs all over the place. Look, looks pretty decent for a first try at a tuna casserole, if you ask me. Right? Mm, it smell, actually smells really good. Okay, so I'm gonna do a taste test. Get a serving spoon and pour this out into a plate I got here. Okay. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't kill me. It 
Maybe I should let it cool down before I totally bite into this thing and, like, burn off my tongue. <laughs> so how you guys doing today? Hmm? You guys do anything interesting? Like, try to cook a tuna casserole? <laughs> I think it would taste better if uh, the breadcrumbs weren't burnt. It tastes okay. I'd probably give it, like, three out of five stars. <laughs> it's kind of bland. Maybe I should have salted the water before boiling, boiling the pasta. I feel like this would have tasted better if I'd used, used cheddar cheese instead of that. Just cheese wedges my mom eats. So I want you guys to stare at me eating just because it's kind of, kind of weird, so. Okay, so, thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe and thumbs up this video, please. <laughs> and hope and pray that I don't die, like, three hours from now <laughs> from eating this. <laughs> okay, so don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Kelly Chinito. Okay, bye. Pieces of the noodle are still kind of hard.